This is Kurt Heisinger, accounting professor at Sierra College and author of Managerial Accounting. This video describes uh, the difference between using a job costing system in a service company setting as opposed to using a job costing system in a manufacturing company setting. The chart that you see down here at the bottom of this slide shows the difference between the accounts that are used with these two different types of organizations. But before we dive into this, probably the, the most important difference that I should describe initially is that a manufacturing company typically uses significant materials in the production process. And a service company typically does not use much in the way of materials in the, in the uh, process of providing the service. So what you see here in this chart is the accounts that are used for a manufacturing organization and the accounts that are used for a service organization. And then this starts to then draw, draw the distinction between the two. As we've talked about in, in previous videos, in a manufacturing organization, there are three inventory accounts. The raw materials inventory account, the work and process inventory account, and the finished goods inventory account. And when those products, those tangible products are sold, all of those product costs go into, that is direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead, all of those product costs go into cost of goods sold on the income statement. There is also a manufacturing overhead account that is used in a manufacturing setting. Now let's look at the service organization and how the, the accounts are used with a service organization. So instead of this raw materials inventory account, the service organization tends to use really a supplies account or it might even be an expense account because if you think about it, service organizations just don't use much in the way of, of uh, raw materials or even supplies. So take for example an accounting firm, clearly a service type of an organization. An accounting firm would typically use supplies like pens, pencil, uh, pencils, paper, those types of things that don't really cost very much and are probably expensed as they are used. Uh, in a uh, manufacturing setting, those materials tend to be much, much more expensive and flow through the inventory account. In a service organization, often a work in process account is used to track the costs associated with each client, for example, in, in an accounting firm. Some uh, service organizations don't use work in process at all and simply, this is the asterisk at the bottom, simply use uh, an expense account to record those costs. So keep in mind with a service organization, the primary cost is really going to be direct labor. And secondarily, the, the next most uh, significant cost will be overhead. It's not called manufacturing overhead, it's called overhead. And again, materials are, are a very small part of the costs associated with a service organization. And then looking at finished goods, service organizations don't inventory product. So th there is no tangible product that's being produced, so there's no finished goods inventory account. And instead of using cost of goods sold as an account, because we're not selling goods if we're a service organization, we'll typically use an account on the income statement called uh, cost of services or something along those lines. And as I mentioned before, instead of manufacturing overhead, we simply use overhead because we're not manufacturing a tangible product. Uh, we use overhead. And so those are the accounts that are typically used in a service organization. And again, really the primary difference is that service organizations, they still use a job costing system. They still track costs for each individual job, each individual client, for example, in an accounting firm. Um, but they do not use uh, the finished goods inventory account and they use different names for some of these other accounts.